Hey guys, Famous here, and I wouldn't wait till I got home to my dad's and my, my dad's, my mom's, to make a video, but I don't feel like waiting. So, there's three things I'm going to address in this video. One, starting off with the most important, it's my birthday. And usually I go for a trick shot, try to hit one on my birthday every year, but this time I'm not going to do it, and here's the reason why. Um, because it goes along with number two. So, uh, it so happens that, well, I was going to say it so happens that the beta starts my birthday, but actually it started yesterday. The point is, I'm going to be home um, for my birthday because I want to see both my parents, and when I get home, I end up pre-ordering Call of Duty World War II, which means over on my Twitch, which should be in the link down in the description, I'm going to be stream grinding the fuck out of COD World War II. And now, for number three... This one's going to be really big. So, for number three, uh, since, you know, we're back to boots on the ground, Call of Duty is back to its roots, I feel very confident, and yes, it's kind of cocky that I'm saying I'm very confident even though I haven't played the game yet, but I feel very confident when it comes up to this game and my dream of being a professional Call of Duty player. Now, am I saying I'm going to be a professional this year? I'm not guaranteeing that. What I am guaranteeing is, during this game, this uh, duration of its cycle, I'm going to be doing my very hardest to try to compete a lot harder. So when it's either uh, UMGs, GBs, singles, doubles, um, you know, full four-man team, I'm going to do my very best to compete during this game. Because, like I said, I've, I feel very confident that I'm going to get somewhere during the duration of this game. Um, when it's either not getting that high in competing, but maybe hopefully for streaming aspect. Uh, but hopefully for competing as, you know, I was I was pretty good for Infinite Warfare, even though that's like jetpack and all that. But since we're back to boots on the ground, and I did start playing COD when I was boots on the ground, I'm not a jetpacker. Uh, like, I, my first COD was COD 2 in the PC when I was, like, 7 years old. So, this is, like, 11 years ago. But, even though I haven't played the game yet, it looks so amazing. I can't wait to play it. And I have a feeling. Because even though I think things are going to get changed in the game, because obviously it's the beta. But, I feel very, very confident that I'm going to do well during this game. And I hope that there's a lot of other people that are going to finally have the motivation to, you know, find for teams, make their own teams. Even if it has nothing to do with me. Everyone that's watching this, if you feel like you are very confident, like you want to compete in this game, just go for it. When it's either making your own team, find a roster for you to play on, just go for it. Strive, grind, do it. Because I've been, like, I've been grinding Call of Duty, competitive-wise, for about six years. And I've been playing for 11. And there's... Professional players out there, and there's semi-pros out there, that played Call of Duty probably longer by a year or I have because, well, I, I don't know. But, like, there's professional players that have played Call of Duty as many years as I have. And sure, I'm only 18, and, you know, I'm not as old as them, and they're, like, you know, in their early to mid-20s. But the point being is, you know, they actually had opportunities at a time where Call of Duty professionally was easy to find and seize the opportunity. Uh, for example, for Infinite Warfare, the reason why I didn't bother playing, uh, competing for Infinite Warfare, A, the game kind of pissed me off. It was, you know, boring. It, it, it just sank. And it's also really hard to find dedicated players to put on a roster. Like, all the dedicated competitive players there are out there are already on teams. It's so hard to find people that are dedicated, and I'm not saying there's not any, there's there's people out there, but I'm just saying it's so hard to find them, um, and then once you do find them, it's hard to keep and maintain, uh, I know that means the same thing, but you know what I'm saying, it's hard to maintain that dedication, and just keep going, striving, just go for that one same goal, but uh, hopefully, for this duration of Call of Duty World War II, uh, scale Finds a competitive team because Scale is going to do a competitive team. Um, Scale's like to do a lot of big things when it comes up to competitive gaming. They're trying to um, 
spread out to things like Counter-Strike, League of Legends, uh, Call of Duty, and that's just the name three. And with me, um, hopefully scale audio, uh, as he quits sniping and he wants to go to the competitive aspect and scale Gmoke, and obviously, you know, you guys know Ray, aka Gmoke, I've been teaming with him since, um, I think I, since Ghost or Advanced Warfare. Either way, I've known Ray for many years, and I know me and Ray are going to kill this game because, like, Ray tried to motivate me um, to do doubles all the time in uh, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, and it was because of my own laziness. And for me, it's kind of ironic because I, I kind of complain that I can't find dedicated players, but yet at the same time during the duration of Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, Gmo kept trying to have me practice and scrim and try to get out there during uh, the time of the last game. And I just kept passing down or I just didn't feel like it. So during that duration of those games, it was only my fault to blame as I just lost motivation and I just couldn't do it. But for this game, I promise you guys that I'm not going to lose motivation. I'm going to try my hardest during Call of Duty World War II. I know it's even though the beta, but I'm just going to try my hardest to um, compete and just stream grind. To just stream this 24-7, get as much of it of the beta as I can. Uh, because, you know, obviously the first weekend is the 25th through the 27th, and the second weekend for the beta is, like, September 1st through something else. I don't know if I'll be able to play uh, during that beta. Uh, I don't even know. I think that's on a weekend, because uh, I probably will be here. I don't know. But uh, if anything happens, I, I don't know. Just follow my Twitter down below, and I'll let you know what is going on. I usually tweet when I go live, and definitely... Uh, I'm just going to be still here to my dad, spending time um, here for my birthday until like around 2 p.m. And then 2 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be going home. Um, probably, you know, spend time with my family just for maybe a good, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And I'm, you know, they're probably going to understand. I'm going to tell them, hey, you know what? We had our happy birthdays. We chilled. I have a game to grind. I have to stream grind it. I have to. You know, just play the shit out of it. Obviously, there's probably no competing because the game, the beta just came out. It's like the second day of the beta. So, I don't guarantee on game battles of UMG, there's already people, you know, doing like singles or doubles or, you know, 4v4s. I, everyone's just playing the beta just to have fun and just playing the beta. Maybe some of the pros have done Money 8s, but, you know, also realize Money 8s, that's not off of, um... That's not off of game battles or UMG. That's eight professional players just throwing in money and competing for fun. Um, and that's why it's called Money 8s. But obviously, um, you know, I'm not going to do Money 8s because A, I don't have money to throw in. I don't know if I have to. But also, I'm not um, a pro player nor a semi pro player as I used to be during the duration of Ghost, which used to be. And let me get on to that really quick. I was considered. Now, I wasn't officially a former semi-professional, but I was considered a semi-professional during the duration of Ghost. And yes, I know Ghost was easy, but also as Ghost was the last Call of Duty before Call of Duty World War II that was boots on the ground. So that actually gives me more of a higher confidence that if I did that well for people to consider me a, as a such thing during Ghost, then I do really feel confident about Call of Duty World War II. So... I want to say thank you for everyone that tuned in to this video. Um, once again, just follow my Twitch and Twitter in the links in the description. Um, put on live notifications for tw uh, Twitch when I go live. If you don't, then either live notifications or just keep checking my Twitter for when I go live. Uh, when I tweet it out. So, please like, comment, subscribe. This is Famous Game View Content Full Superiority of Gameplay. And peace.